Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Shattered Relics League. Last video, we finally went to God Wars, starting with Zami. We got the Zami, well, we got everything from Zami except for the pet. And after that, I went to Bandos, and the only thing I got from Bandos in 131KC was just the hilt. So today, I want to go back to Bandos so I can get some pieces of Bandos armor, because it'd be good to have those for the Bandosian Might set effect. And for Hydra, because I want to do melee Hydra, I'll probably end up being there till 99 Slayer. And Hydra is also how I want to go for 99 Prayers, since going for Max is a goal on the account, which we're getting pretty close to. But to start off the day today, I'm going to go to the Apatol Agility course, because even though I have 99 Agility, I still haven't done all the laps that I need to do there for the League tasks. And it's just become a habit at this point, so I'm going to go there while I edit the last video. Okay, last lap, and then we're going to be heading back to Bandos. It's 1 out of 127 for each of the individual armor pieces, and there's three of them. So surely we can see something today, right? I really I really just want to get any drop from Bandos would be cool, even the boots. Oh yeah, I got 99 strength like right at the end of the last video, so I probably should be focusing on attack just to get that to 99. Yes! Yes, we got something! <laughs> We got a drop. Bandos chest plate, let's put that on. Oh, equip a piece of the Bandos armor set. It is the same strength bonus, but it has a lot more defense, especially for the range defense. And it has the prayer bonus as well. And it's a Bandos item, so it'll be nice for Bandosian Might eventually once they get that to level three. Back to back, oh my God, it was back to back. <laughs> Look, okay, it was uh, 138 and then 139 Bandos boots. Um, while it's not better than Prims necessarily, it is really good for the Bandosian Might Fragment. And then once we get Tacits, there's also a task to equip the full Bandos armor set. So if I can get Tacits, we get a bunch of points for that. Wow, no back three back. This game sucks. I'm actually so unlucky all the time. I'm going to call it here 200 Grind or KC. No. Because uh, I want to get back to playing the game. It's not like a big deal. Plus later on when I get uh, Bandosian Fragment up to level 3, I can just come back with some like other piece of Bandos gear and just like hit him down with the BGS. I'll probably come back for Tacitus at some later point, but for now we're gonna... I, I want to do Hydra, but I have to make the Spear into a Hosta, but before I do that, there's really only one use I would have for the Spear, and that is Corp. Now there's a bunch of tasks for like different Corp KCs or getting Sigils or whatever, but I don't know if I would really enjoy grinding that out in the league, but there is a task to just kill one corp. So I just want to do one corp, Casey, and I probably won't do any more corp, and I'll just make the spear into the hosta from there. In terms of the GP I made from Bandos, I haven't banked this cash stack. This is mainly just the raw GP drops, one mil GP. And then I haven't alked most of the rune items I got from Bandos. Some of these may be from Zami too, but I have a lot of rune items I can elk whenever I need GP for something. Okay, let's unlock the Corporeal Beast. Uh, this is bringing back memories to when I did it on the UIM. That was the last time I did Corp. It's been a long time. I don't have a Dragon Warhammer because I haven't done Shaman, so I guess I'm just going to have to start with the Arc Light and I'll just be specking Corp down. Um, just using the specs, teleporting back to the POH, and Corp stats like stay reduced when you spec it down. So I can come back and restore my spec at the pool, and then go back to Corp and yeah, just keep on specking it down to get to like really low stats. I'm not sure if it still is this way, but at least when I was doing Corp, when no one was in the room, Corp's health would automatically go back to full health. But they've made a bunch of changes to Corp in the last couple of years. I'm not sure if it might still be that way, but either way, it's going to be faster overall to just spec it down a few times. Just spend like five or ten minutes doing this. Although I'm thinking about this, with Absolute Unit deflecting 100% of the damage, Really, all I need is just 2,000 hit points worth of food in my inventory if I just bring a bunch of brews. And I wouldn't even need that much because I would, of course, just be doing damage with the spear myself. Well, then again, if I have a full inventory of brews, I would need, like, restores to balance that out if I actually want to do damage. But just an idea. Let's actually start the fight and see how it goes with a full inventory of Karam Blondes. Like I said, worst case scenario, I could just grab a full inventory of brews, but... I just want to see how this goes. You need to use a spear against Corp because all other weapons have a 50% damage reduction. So you could use like a Gotham spear, I guess. But oh, the core. Oh, oh, I haven't done this since the UIM. Okay, let me see if I could. Um, there's like a way to cancel it out. I do it. If it doesn't drop ashes, I did it right. Yep. So now the core won't spawn again for the rest of the kill. I mean, I am taking a lot of damage, which means I haven't specced Corp all the way down because I should not be taking that much damage if I did it right. But I just want to like just do this one kill and get it over with. One Corp Casey on the Shattered Relics account, and that is what we get. 
get uh, 125 leak points for that. And now I could turn the spear into a hosta and not feel bad when I eventually turn it into a lance because I don't, I never got a second spear from Zami and I would really prefer to not go back. So now that I'm done with my one core PC, I probably wouldn't need a spear slash hosta for anything if I do end up making it into a lance because the lance is irreversible. You can't get the spear back from that. I think I still have to do some of the barbarian training first. So I just brought all these items with me just in case so I can get that done right away. I figured while I'm here, I may as well make the admin spear for the hard diary. I think we should be just about done with this training. And there we go, Zami spear into the hosta. Let's equip that. And with that, we are ready for Hydra. I don't have the Karend Elite Diary done, so that means two things. First off, I have to wear the the stone boots. Yeah, boots of stone. It also means I don't have a teleport to get to Konar. Not only do I not have the Rada's Blessing, I just don't have any blessing at all. But that shouldn't even matter because if I set my fragments up right, prayer should just never drain. And let's grab the Hydra task from Konar. Do I need the diary to use this shortcut or just the agility level? Okay, I can use it. For my fragment setup, I brought last recall because I don't really have a fast way to get here. It also just kind of worked with my fragments. I didn't really have to go out of the way to bring it. Here's my active effects for my fragment setup. It's pretty much the same thing that I was using for Zami. I was trying my prayer with like both of these up and it almost upkeeps it. Not quite though, and that's because I only have level two for this one, living on the prayer, which reduces the prayer drain, but it's almost level three. So I'll probably just get that while I'm at Hydra and then I shouldn't have to worry about having an overhead and end pie deactive. The Hydra bones are gonna be automatically buried with three times XP. So I just wanna see like what the prayer XP drop is at the end of each kill. And then on top of that, Hydra drops a lot of dragon bones and those I'll just end up using at the Wildy Altar. And let's unlock. Hydra. It's been a while since I've done Hydra too. I think the last time was on the UYM when I was going for the lands a long time ago. Oh, you may have noticed I have absolute unit, which theoretically you should never need um, if you're like actually good at the game and never mess up, but I'm probably going to mess up a lot. So absolute unit might actually help me a bit. Oh, I should grab an anti-poison too because I don't have Venom Master activated. Again, theoretically you wouldn't need any kind of antidote, but because I'm going to mess up, it would actually help me to have it. Dude, they added the thing where like Hydra does an animation. Because last time I did Hydra, there wasn't that like animation thing, but now it just, it tell it gives you the answer when it's about to switch attacks. Let's see if I could do the flame skip first try. Yeah, still got it. Oh my God, the DPS is just insane. It's probably gonna be slow though, cause it's my first kill back in a long time. So I just had to kind of like relearn where I'm supposed to stand. But look at that, I just completed a bunch of master tasks. Oh, no lead task for that. No, wait, maybe lead task. Yeah, there's a lead task. One alchemical hydro KC. I just went back to check the clip. That was a 7K <laughs> per XP drop from that one KC. And then to get the poison not on that tile, I can just run back there on the third hit. What the heck? Three spirit seeds? I didn't even know that was a drop. Okay, well, let's begin Hydra. I've, uh, start, I'm have start. i starting to recall how to do it. I'm, I'm getting it back now, getting, getting back in my rhythm. 21k Slayer XP drop from each Hydra. There's something that I wanted to test out here real quick. I want to see if I teleport out of here. Is it like God Wars where I can use crystal memories and it'll teleport me to right outside the instance? Or is it even going to save this location? Please... No, I just took the L for the team. If I try to teleport back, there's no memory. I forgot to bring Alk, so that's kind of why I wanted to leave right now, just to grab some Alex. Maybe some more super restores too, because it was kind of draining a little bit faster than I thought, but we'll get that fragment to tier three pretty soon. Also, hopefully all the herbs I get from Hydra will be enough to get me to 99 herb lore. For Hydra, I have a couple goals besides just gaining XP and the skills. Uh, one is to get the Lance or the Claw Drop, which is one out of 333 in the League with the three times drop multiplier. And then also to reach KC milestones for more League points because there's KC milestones going all the way up to 500 Hydra, which I can't see myself doing that much Hydra in the League. More likely I'll probably go to like 100 or something. How many freaking tasks does this boss have, dude? I feel like every single kill I'm getting another uh, combat task done. There it is, living on the prayer is... Level three. Yeah, it looks like the prayer is in fact upkeeping itself. It's just like staying in between 48 and 49. So don't need prayer pods anymore. I could just always keep an overhead on and piety on just anywhere I go as long as I have those two um, fragments combined together. Also, don't think I need food here either because I have uh, Draken's Touch, which heals me or gives me a chance to heal each time I hit. I'm like barely taking any damage as it is. The Flame Skipper was a master combat task and that was a leak task to do 10 master combat achievements. 25 KC at Hydra and that is a leak task. I think actually I'll take this opportunity to make a little trip to the bank. Look at all these supplies on the ground though, like I get all this stuff, but I just 
don't need it. I gotta make sure though that I leave this area before I teleport out. Um, this is part of the instance too, so I actually have to leave out of this area. And now I can safely teleport out and it is going to save on the crystal memories. I wanna make divine super combat potions. So I'm gonna crush up some crystal shards here. I don't know how many I need. If I use it on a one dose potion, will mixologist make that into a four dose potion? Oh wait, wait, let me put on that. <laughs> oh, it does keep it as one dose if you try to use it on a one dose potion. Wait, did it use up the shard though? It's not supposed to use up the shards. Hold on, let me grab out all these. Is it gonna use up the shards or the dust when I do that? Oh, it's supposed to be one dust per dose in the main game. Let me try that again. Interesting. Well, I'll just make a bunch of the super combats into divines because it's gonna be really nice for Hydra. Yeah, I guess it just uses up four crystal dust no matter how many you make. Okay, well, whatever. Here's the new inventory for Hydra. Just a bunch of super combat potions or divine super combat potions. And I probably won't even use the food. I'm just going to drop it all on the ground when I get there. But just in case, you never know. Hey, just got 97 Slayer. Oh, so last receipt is good because I need that for uh, the Karend Elite Diary. It's my first time getting one or two. <laughs> Maybe I overdid it with like bringing too many supplies because there's so many cool drops on the ground and I want to pick them all up, but I can't. Oh, hey, we got we got a drop, the Hydra Tail. That's the one where you attach it to the Dragon Bone Necklace from Warcath. So probably will have no use for me. 50 Hydra KC, and <laughs> we get uh, the Hydra heads from that. 125 leak points. I decided that I want to go for 100 KC before leaving because there's another task at 75 and then another task at 100. And then after that, the next task is until 250 and that's pretty far away after that. So 100 sounds pretty good. Can I touch the fire after the kill? Oh, no, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> 75 Hydra, 25 more to go. And we have 98 Slayer. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh talk about timing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we got we gotta grab our chips and dip out of here so we can make that into the lance. <laughs> oh dude. That, that was a, a very nice treat for 98 Slayer. Thank you very much, game. Can we just attach it right now? Or do we need the spear maybe? Oh no, yeah, it's the host. Okay, proceed. And there we go, we have the lance. Surely a task for that. Yep, 125 more leak points. Oh, this is gonna be fun to finish up uh, this last bit of KC. And we could use this for Vorkath, for raids. Oh, I'm so glad we got this. It's actually really nice. I actually wasn't planning on staying beyond 100. Like I would, would not come back here for the lance, but we got it, so. Heck yeah. First suit with the lance ever is a miss, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I'm so hyped for Chambers. I haven't really talked about much, but I feel like Chambers might be like an end goal for me because I've never done solo raids before. And I think that'd be really cool to learn. And I think this would be the perfect opportunity using the League to learn how to do solo raids. So we'll, we'll see how that goes over the next few weeks. Be after I max though. Oh, great, Dragon Knives. Oh, it shows up in the CC. <laughs> What is this, dude? Is there a task for equipping that? No, wow. Huge spoiler. And that's a PB already. Um, by the way, those last two drops were back to back the claw and the dragon knives. First piece of the ring, although it's not something that I think I'd stay here for. And that's it. I'm free. 100 Hydra KC. Let's uh, pick up this loot here. And we're done. We're good. We got the freaking lance. We got a bunch of tasks done. Probably like, it's probably like 25 KC per hour. So I got like one of each of these tasks done per hour because it was every 25 KC. Let's take a look at the prayer XP I gained. Uh, over 700k prayer XP. I was getting a little bit before from God Wars because I was like auto burying the bones. Oh yeah, that makes sense because it was 7k per kill. Um, and then on top of that, look at all the dragon bones. No way, dude. It's, it's. It's the number, bro. Then let's see the Slayer XP, over 2 million Slayer XP gained today and some other stats as well. A lot of XP has been gained today. I'll probably end up finishing off 99 Slayer, maybe tomorrow at Vorkath and get the Assembler as well. And of course with Hydra, you make a bunch of GP. So I think I kept all of it in my inventory, 2.4 mil. Unfortunately, the Alchemaniac Fragment wouldn't work with like the side effects I wanted, but that's still a bunch of GP. A bunch of Battle Staffs, a bunch of herbs, runes, Etc. And most importantly, of course, we got the frickin' lance. I can't believe it. I'm about to go eat dinner, so that means it's gonna be time for some Apatol agility. 
And I think after dinner today, I'm gonna go to the Wildy Altar and use up the Dragon Bones. And I probably have more bones in here as well. Yeah, just some bones from like various activities. Every night when I go to do Ape Atoll, or just whenever I do like any kind of AFK activity, I go to my fragment and then go filter by level ones, put all the level ones up here, and then switch it over to level twos, and then put the level twos up there, and that way I can train all these fragments that I need to get up. That is enough agility for tonight, let's get to the prayer training. Okay, I'm just gonna run over there from Ferox because I don't have any burning amulets, and it's only like a minute to get there. <laughs> I don't feel like switching spellbooks or anything. But anyway, so we're in the Wildy. Uh, you can see I have all my bones on me, but because everyone's an Iron Man, uh, that means if I get PK'd, the only things that I really risk are my untradeables if I'm above 30 Wildy. Otherwise, I can just claim everything back from my gravestone since we're all Iron Man, no one else can get my items. And because of that, I feel like no one's gonna be PKing at the Wildy Altar. Because like at least at Black Chins, you can make the person lose their chins, but at the Wildy Altar, no one loses anything. So unless you have untradeables on you. I've never actually used this guy before, but he's supposed to unnote your items. I assume I just use them on him. And it's, oh, it's 50 GP each. I thought it'd be like five GP each. On every other account, all I've ever done is just like one inventory of bones at a time. But I guess I could just like AFK here. I mean, there's no reason to like get super click intensive unless I'm in a rush. Maybe I am in a rush. Let me configure the left click, save that. Okay, now we're gaming. Boom, prayer level coming in already. Holy crap, I'm getting 15 million XP per hour, bruh. Oh yeah, I still have all those level one and level two fragments equipped because I don't think there's any fragments or set effects that help with the chaos altar. Um, so I'm still uh, still working on getting those levels up. Oh, yeah, I got one earlier too when I was doing Apatol. Oh, another fragment leveled up, nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I wasn't even paying attention. Do I have like absolute unit? I didn't like set up any fragments to have any set effects, but it looks like a recoil damage. I do have absolute unit. That wasn't on purpose, but I guess it worked out. I mean, I just wanted to train these fragments that were only level one or two. Bandogian Might level two. Now, does Bandogian Might imply the existence of Bandogian Might not? Philosophers have spent many long nights pondering this. Zamraki in sight. Level two. And that is all the bones used up. Well, we're running in time, it's so cool. Is all the bones used up, gained 5.4 million XP from that. I was pretty much AFKing for most of that. We made it all the way up to 97 prayer and we'll get even more prayer XP tomorrow when we go to Vorkath. So we'll go for at least 99 Slayer tomorrow, most likely. But once again, a very successful day, I'd say. Getting the freaking lands is so sick. I was just watching Soup Solo Ulm Guide for doing 4 to 1, and it's getting me like really hyped to learn how to do solo raids. So I'm getting more and more excited for that. I'm looking forward to doing it after Max, though. We are wrapping up here for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.